Good morning, beloved St. Lucas. I pray this morning devotional finds you well, uh, well rested, uh, and well prepared for the day ahead of us. Uh, I'm well rested and well prepared for worship today. And I also pray that this devotional, um, a scripture and a prayer, uh, in its simplicity still might um, cause you to find yourself more and more attuned to the presence of a living God, especially as we prepare uh, to worship God together. And that's kind of what I wanted to share with you today uh, in scripture. I wanted to share with you one of the pilgrimage so songs uh, or psalms. Uh, there are a number of these short psalms in the book of Psalms that are pilgrimage songs. They're, they're songs that we believe the Hebrew people, the people of Israel, sang or repeated or recited uh, as they journeyed towards Jerusalem, as they journeyed uh, towards the temple for worship. And so I, I want to read uh, Psalm 130 to you. And as I do, I'll read it slowly and carefully. And I pray that um, its words might resonate with you, that these, these ancient words might speak something new and fresh to you this day as we uh, pilgrimage, as we journey uh, towards worship together. I cry out from the depths, Lord, my Lord, listen to my voice. Let your ears pay close attention to my request for mercy. If you keep track of sins, Lord, my Lord, who would stand a chance? But forgiveness is with you. That's why you are honored. I hope, Lord, my whole being hopes and I wait for God's promise. My whole being waits for my Lord more than the night watch waits for the morning. Yes, more than the night watch waits for morning. Israel, wait for the Lord because faithful love is with the Lord because great redemption is with our God. He is the one who will redeem Israel from all its sins. He is the one who will redeem us all from all our sins. And then I wanted to share This prayer, and that's not nearly as old as the Psalms, but it's still old. This, this prayer was written by a guy named Athanasius. And he was born in 296, and he died in 373. Uh, he was African. He was from Egypt. Um, and he was the bishop, eventually, of, uh, of Alexandria and an important person in the early, uh, in the Christian church. And so I, I share his prayer to you that it might be your prayer, our prayer as well. We praise you, Father, invisible, giver of immortality. You are the source of life and light the source of all grace and truth. You love us all, and you love the poor. You seek reconciliation with all, and draw them all to you by sending your dear Son to visit them, who now lives and reigns with you. Father, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Grace and peace, my friends. I look forward to seeing you at worship at 930. God bless.